Hey guys, uh, welcome to the official guide for NSET and our admission process for 2025. In this video, we are going to cover the A to Z of the entire process. And there are a lot of changes that have happened this year. And we want to inform you of that through this video. Every candidate needs to know uh, about not just NSET, the entire admission process and registration. What is the NSET? What are the modes in which NSET is conducted? Uh, which sections does the NSET test you on? What is the weightage of each of the sections? Most importantly, my tips to prepare for the exam and the resources that Scalar is giving you. Syllabus, practice material, uh, the cutoffs, and what to expect after the NSET. And towards the end, we will also talk about multiple FAQs that students typically have. This video might be slightly long, so we are putting timestamps here, so you can skip to specific sections uh, that you are curious about. All right, so let's start with a recap of the admission process for those who are new. Step one is that you register for the NSET. We will talk about that in detail. Step two is where you fill the detail form, basis which scholarships will be given out. Step three is you take the test. Step four is we have interviews, two rounds of interviews. And finally, you get shortlisted and also know if you've got a scholarship and what amount of scholarship. Now, talking about the registration process, our team has tried to make it very seamless for you all. Everyone has to go uh, and click on apply now. Once you do that, you have to fill in basic details like mobile number, OTP, and you will see a personal details form. Uh, you fill that out uh, and then register for the NSET by paying uh, a nominal amount. Post doing that, you will see a detailed form. Now, uh, in this form, the intention is to know your profile in depth. And uh, we will ask you uh, uh, your extracurricular activities. We will ask you if you've given other competitive exams. And uh, what this really helps us do is that evaluate your candidature holistically. So I uh, request everyone to do this in detail and not miss out on any point because editing this later is difficult. Once you complete that form, you will be able to see the next available slot. And uh, we typically have uh, one to two slots per month. You will be able to block that. And then post that, this year the team has made a new feature for you. Let's talk about that. All right, now let me give you a quick walkthrough of this new dashboard that the team has made. Uh, as you can see here, there's a step-by-step -step process given. You can download your NSET admit card, which has all your details. Please verify all of that before the exam. You can uh, know everything about the NSET, uh, this video that you're seeing now. Uh, the preparation roadmap. So we've given a lot of previous year questions. Please go through that. You can watch these videos. Take many mock tests in a particular subject. So all this is uh, new and helpful for everyone. It's very important. Step five, I'll pause here. Everyone needs to take the sample test before the exam so that you do not face any technical issues during the exam because that will uh, spoil your morale, etc. Right? And then you can uh, explore further details like uh, degree, fees, uh, other details like how is my campus life going to be over here. We've also given the option of connecting with other students uh, through the directory and some other details here. Like we also have a virtual tour of the campus that we've added that you can see here. Now, very important that on the day of the test, uh, once you click on login, you will be uh, redirected to the application page. On the test day, you will see a join test button, which you need to click to join the test. And uh, all further details will be shown on your dashboard itself. All right, now let's talk about the NSET format. So this is 2025's video. Uh, as everyone knows, we constantly look at a lot of feedback. We look at data and that's how we decide what we want to keep the format. And we could see a very strong correlation with two sections that people who've done well in mathematics and logical reasoning. Uh, they're doing well in the program as well versus learnability last year. And that's why this year uh, we have decided to change the format and we have let go of the learnability section. So yes, this is new. Uh, we have two sections now. One is logical reasoning which has a total of 45 marks and second which has mathematics which is a total of 55 marks and we have a total of 100 marks. Uh, the test duration is two hours. Um, the format is uh, it's an online test proctored test and um, we don't have any MCQs you have to input uh, all your answers. Now let's talk about each section. Uh, let's start with logical reasoning 45 marks and you can see the subjects on your screen right now. And as a bonus, we are providing you a workbook uh, which is accessible through your dashboard as well, 
for each of the topics, there are problems that you will find here, uh, which gives you additional material. Now, coming to mathematics, uh, the subjects that you see here uh, consist the syllabus. And uh, we also have a workbook for mathematics, which gives you additional material across all of these topics. All right, now let's talk about the very important thing. What is the selection criteria for NSET? Now, there are two ways to get shortlisted after NSET. One is basis your NSET score and one is basis your profile. We'll talk about both. Now, basis your NSET score. Typically, there is a cutoff on an overall score and there is something also known as sectional excellence. Let me explain. Now, for example, in the first intake, the cutoff overall was about 34%. And if you did really, really well in a section, then also you clear the cutoff. Now, this 34% was for the first intake. Now, the this can go up or down basis the difficulty of the NSET exam. So, please don't take this as a fixed cutoff. Now, talking about profile-based shortlist, uh, while you fill the application, uh, the details that you share, we look at that, uh, your competitive exam scores, typical exams like JE, BITSAT, SAT, we look at those scores. We also look at Olympiad achievements. If you've done well in nationally reputed Olympiads like INMO, IMO, INOI, IOI, etc. And then we also look at your tech or entrepreneurship achievements. For example, if you build a project that has actual real users, uh, we look at all of these. And if we see a spike in your profile anywhere, that's when we give you a profile based shortlist as well. However, please note that you will still need to give the NSET to get, get a profile based shortlist. All right, now a lot of students reach out to me asking for tips and how do I prepare for NSET. So let me share that here. Now, number one is that on your dashboard itself, we have given you PYQs and a lot of sample tests uh, are also being added as we speak. Uh, apart from that, you will find some mock tests, uh, which will be in the real testing environment. And uh, we've also given some playlists which have been created by some of our best instructors to take you through certain tricky topics. Now, in terms of the book that I recommend typically to students, for mathematics, I, I suggest uh, Arun Sharma. This is actually a book for CAT. Uh, there you can uh, go through the topics uh, that we have given in our syllabus. You don't need to solve the entire Arun Sharma. And very similarly, for logic, you can look at a book like R.S. Agarwal and solve only those topics which are included in our syllabus. Now, the next question typically comes is that, hey, how much time do I need to prepare for the NSET? Now, the answer is it depends. If you're already preparing for competitive exams like JE, I've seen people uh, spend two to three weeks and do well in NSET. Now, if you're new to this, if you're a beginner in uh, prepping for competitive exams, it typically takes one to two months depending on the number of hours you're putting every day on solving these books that we just spoke about. I think a pro tip here is that what we've seen in the past is the students who start giving these exams early. One of the good things with NSET is that you can take it three times. So if you take first attempt and you realize specific areas that you are weak at, then you can keep your strategy focused. And I've seen that by attempt two, attempt three, people are able to definitely do much better. All right, so what after the NSET? What's the process specifically? So let's say that you give the NSET on a Saturday or Sunday. Typically, you will get your results on a Tuesday or a Wednesday in which it's known that you are shortlisted for the interview or not. So your interview start a day after your NSET results. And uh, you should be prepared uh, if your exam has gone well, you should be prepared, uh, start preparing in these two days itself. And we have resources on our dashboard to help you prepare for the interview. R1 happens uh, then. And then within a few days uh, post that, you will have your R2. And then typically we need some seven to 10 days uh, to evaluate uh, your performance, look at multiple data points, and then finally come to a decision if you've got an offer uh, or not, and if you've got a scholarship or not, which will then be communicated to you by your program advisors. And even on your dashboard, it will get updated. So what do we test in these interviews? Uh, now, it starts with a question in either mathematics or logic, a couple of questions there. And once we are through with that, we move on to your aspirations. Uh, why do you want to study computer science? Uh, why do you want to join SST? What do you know about SST, etc, etc. So that's the typical format. However, don't worry, it's not going to be a roadie, roadie style stress interview. Uh, the panelists are actually working professionals in industries. 
you should be calm and communicate your thought process uh, during the interview. Okay, now very important details around the testing platform and the requirements. One, a laptop is mandatory, no mobiles, tabs can be used. Second, everyone needs to install the latest version of the Chrome browser. Third, high speed internet, stable internet is needed, but don't worry, in case your internet goes away in the exam, you can start from the same point again. Now, talking about the system requirements, uh, we, we see a lot of students face issues with webcam. So please make sure that your webcam is working. If not, please ensure like you have an alternate laptop or you go to a cyber cafe. And the whole idea of giving you a sample test on your dashboard is that you verify your setup and that you are ready so that you have no technical challenges. So in order to ensure that the test is conducted in a fair manner, we have proctoring through which like you can see through these clips, we are able to note what students are doing. So anyway, uh, audits, detailed audits are conducted in which we go through the video feed. And anyway, all offers are provisional in nature, which means that even later on, if we figure out someone has cheated through the process, then your offer is revoked. And this has happened with a couple of students last year. So best to avoid cheating and get in through fair manners. Okay, now uh, in order to support students in their quest of studying at SST, uh, we have scholarships that is given by the Scalar Foundation, which is funded by prominent CXOs uh, and CTOs like Vijay Shekhar Sharma, Bhavan Turakhi, etc. Now this year we have two types of scholarships. One is a need-based scholarship uh, and second is a merit-based scholarship. Now merit-based scholarships are evaluated on the basis of your academic performance in school, uh, 10th and 12th, your aptitude, uh, including exams like Scalar NSAID, JE, BITSAT, uh, SAT, etc. And your extracurricular achievements. Uh, if you have uh, won Olympiads, tech competition, uh, a combination of this is used to identify and, and we give scores on each of these parameters to list down uh, students in the descending order. Now, please note that typically scholarships are given only to 10 to 15 percent of all the offer holders. So uh, it's a limited and a competitive pool and we try and keep it objective basis these parameters. Now talking about need based scholarship. Now we look at the family income, the proof submitted for the family income. Uh, we might do a couple of verification calls there and we combine it with the merit based score and then create a descending order list there as well. And a small percentage of students get a need-based score. But unfortunately, it's not like if your income is below a certain this thing that you have a assured scholarship. We have some sort of a merit and like an upper limit of the number of scholarships that we can give there. However, uh, if your profile is strong, uh, if family income is a challenge, then uh, there is a good chance that you will receive this. Uh, all right, so now uh, time to answer some miscellaneous FAQs. One, are calculators allowed? Yes, it is allowed, but uh, not on your phone. Regular calculators are okay. Is copy paste allowed? Absolutely not. Uh, copy paste is not allowed. Uh, third, do we have coding questions in NSET? Uh, short answer, no. In the NSET and even in the interview process, we do not test for any coding knowledge. Okay, typically 60 to 65 percent of students who are selected at SST have never studied coding in their life before. So just think that myth. Can I retake NSET? Yes, you can take NSET up to a total of three times. Uh, can I retake an interview in case I fail in the interview? Yes, you can retake an interview for a total of one time. For every retake, there is a small nominal charge that we have kept and you need to book your slot once again. Now, a common question that we get is, can I reschedule the test? So this year, we've added the option on the dashboard itself. Uh, you can do it up to 24 hours before your slot and you will have to submit the necessary proof and give us the reason to do this. Uh, there is a small nominal charge to reschedule the test as well. Uh, details of scholarship, etc. will be uh, updated on the website and you can see that as well. All right. So in case we've left out any particular question, please add it in the comments and we will address it there. Uh, we do these regular AMAs. You can even join those AMAs to interact with us uh, and the Scalar students directly. So thank you so much for watching this entire video. And for those of you all who are giving the NSET soon, all the very best and looking forward to see you on campus very soon.